So one of the things that could be happening uh, while you're writing your code is maybe you want to be able to handle those errors a little bit more. Uh, like say for example, you wanna know what went wrong. Right now, uh, we just catch it and we're like, oh, that's perfectly fine, you know, we'll catch it, done. Uh, but maybe I wanna, I, I need to deal with that. I need to know what the problem was. Uh, and in our uh, real world example, we'll see that in just a bit. And so I can do that very similar to how I was uh, how I imported uh, libraries or when I was opening files with the with statement, I was using this term called as. And basically what I'm saying is when a thing is being created, you know, importing a, a library, opening a file, refer to it as, in this case, I typically like to use E. Now that's again, just a simple small little uh, variable, but this variable, that an exception has, has two options. It has, well, it, sorry, it has a message inside of it. And typically this is the error message that we're dealing with, args at zero. Right now, uh, for our error, it's not gonna have anything else, but specifically that first option is gonna be our error. You can see some uh, little example code that I was uh, debugging before I wrote, I uh, started recording. Uh, that's what we're going to see inside of that message. Is now I can tell what the problem was, and so maybe instead of my custom uh, message that doesn't really provide uh, insight because I, I might need to be debugging why my code is crashing, right? Uh, I can come in and do a type on my message, and I'll do the exact same thing uh, for my error handling as well, or my dividing by zero. And so in this case, I take this, I run it, uh, we do our 10. Now again, if I type in the letter A, that is, uh, we're probably gonna still get the error message uh, that we've been getting, and that's exactly it. Now I get the literal, uh, just to scroll up, now I get the literal error that we were seeing that was causing our, that we saw when we our programs would crash. But now it's not crashing. Okay, that's perfectly fine, and we run this again and do the division by zero. Same kind of thing. We're getting an error, of, and we're printing that error message. 